Scientists may have just found a cure for cancer hidden in a cursed Egyptian tomb. In 1922, British Egyptologist Howard Carter discovered the long-lost resting place of Pharaoh Tutankhamun. As he cracked open the mouth of the tomb, hot air trapped for thousands of years rushed out of the ancient doorway, and within days of opening, members of the team began to fall mysteriously ill, with fever, shortness of breath, and wheezing, spurring rumours that the tomb had been sealed by an ancient curse. Decades later though, researchers came across a less supernatural explanation, Aspergillus Flavus, a toxic fungus lurking in the tomb's stale air, deadly even after thousands of years. But could this curse come with a silver lining? Researchers at the University of Pennsylvania found that it contained members of a class of compound called RIPs, or ribosomally synthesized and post-translationally modified peptides. Catchy. Often these compounds have therapeutic properties. While exploring the bioactivity of these RIPs, the team found that two of them showed high levels of toxicity towards human cancer cells. Interested as to why this was, they identified a small side group on each compound that they believed allowed it to permeate cancer cells more effectively and kill them from within. These molecular keys in particular seemed perfectly designed to enter and kill leukemia cells. To prove their hypothesis, the team designed similar molecular additions to replicate these side groups and added them to the previously ineffective RIP compounds, which were then found to be up to four times as potent as their natural counterparts at killing cancer, and just as effective as current modern day therapies. Next up, the team will be optimizing these molecules for further trials to improve the delivery and targeting. If successful, this could pave the way for a new class of fungally derived therapies that are selectively toxic to tumors but leave healthy tissues untouched, allowing us to finally say rip to cancer. So all those years ago, maybe archaeologists were wrong and the treasure was in the mold and not the gold. If you like science and want all of your medical interventions derived from ancient curses, uh -uh. follow for more.